Hello, and thank you for joining this community reviewer information session. My name is Liz Mariani, and I'm the event and outreach coordinator for the Office of Public Engagement with DEED, and I'll be reviewing this process with you today. DEED is currently looking to recruit roughly 100 community members to serve as grant reviewers for the competitive workforce development grant programs. This includes the Transformative Career Pathway Competitive Grant and the Child Care Economic Development Grant Program. We are very committed to including more diverse voices and perspectives in our grant making process and including community reviewers such as yourself is a really important way for us to do this. So we thank you again for participating and let's get into it. We'll first go ahead and start with what the main purpose of the review process is. We're seeking comprehensive reviewers from diverse backgrounds, lived experiences, and people who can demonstrate a good understanding of what the community needs and what the barriers are. We're looking for advanced, equitable decision-making process by engaging beneficiaries for program and community members who have a stake in program advancement. We're engaging with stakeholders who have past or present experiences and have capacity to review materials. We're also looking for community reviewers offer, who offer an outside perspective and professional experience related to the request for proposals. And this is also known as an RFP. Some benefits of including community reviewers for us is a fresh perspective to programs. It increases diversity, equity, and inclusion in the grant making process and awards, accountability to Minnesotans for grant making processes. A reviewer's match to RFP have experience related directly to that RFP. And our goal is to have 25% of the reviewers from the community for each competitive RFP. So what do you need to be to be a community reviewer? Uh, you need to be a Minnesota resident. You need access to a computer with internet connection and intermediate computer skills. You need to be able to speak and read in English because our proposals will be in English. You need experience or background in the workforce development, youth development, education, training, or similar areas of expertise. And we need you to be committed to completing all aspects of the grant application review, reviewing approximately 10 to 12 proposals in a 15 day time period from September to October of 2024. Our proposals are generally 12 to 15 pages in length with additional supporting documents. And we ask that you register with the state system for a payment in order to be eligible to receive a stipend for your work. Um, some of our outreach strategies to recruit reviewers has been um, we are advised by program staff on which competitive grants are coming. We create application process, an application process based on upcoming needs. We work with our communication team to issue press releases, post the opportunity on state lists and servers, social media. We also share with ethnic councils, disability council, the governor's public engagement weekly newsletter, and we encourage sharing. So if you know other members who may qualify or who may be a good fit for a community reviewer position, please pass this along to them as well. Um, we screen applications and determine which area of deed their experience would most be beneficial. And we pay our stip we pay a stipend for reviewers. Um, and this can be anywhere um, from $75 to $100. <clears throat> uh, Community reviewer orientation. Once you are selected to become a reviewer, our coordinator will contact you to set up a time or to invite you to the specific RFP reviewer webinar. Uh, coordinator provides program overview, reviews RFP, introduces reviewers to the technology they'll be using, and an overview of reviewer expectations. SharePoint is what we use to coordinate um, the review material or coordinate and review materials. And this will require unique permissions for reviewer groups. Um, <clears throat> reviewers are then assigned a list of proposals and are asked to complete a conflict of um, interest form before the review process begins. And as much as possible, we just want to avoid sharing documents via email. So once you are accepted, if you have um, information that you would like to send us via email and you are not sure if it's sensitive or not, just shoot us an email and let us know um, what information you're wanting to send and we will let you know if that should be sent via email or if that should be um, uploaded to a SharePoint. The review process. Once assigned to a group, the reviewers will retrieve their assigned proposals and score sheets in the SharePoint site. Reviewers will then read and score proposals and email their completed score sheets to the coordinator. In some departments, reviewers will participate in a group recommendation session, and that includes the community reviewers. 
The coordinator will then compile the scores and provide award recommendations to the commissioner. And ultimately, that final decision will be the commissioner's discretion. Some behind the scenes planning and the unknowns. Um, we've done a lot of pre-planning to prepare for these. <clears throat> um, our coordinator has made sure that the RFP language is in plain language and easy for people to read. Um, we are getting access to that technology that will be needed to go through these um, proposals. We've set up multiple different timelines, making sure that um, everything is getting submitted by the de requested deadlines. And um, we are also, again, identifying any conflicts of interest. We try to avoid reaching out to those who we know may be a conflict of interest, but sometimes that gets missed. So again, we check once those applications are in. And then we will process all the payments to reviewers once the process is completed. And for your knowledge, some contact information for um, the process. Again, my name is Liz Mariani. I am the Events and Outreach Coordinator. You may feel free to email me at any time with any questions regarding this process uh, or regarding today's information session. We also have um, Vanessa Roman, who is a training coordinator. She will be running the reviewer process. You may reach out to her if you have any questions regarding the reviewer process. Um, and then at the top there, we have Ekta Prakash, who is the director of Office of Public Engagement, and she is available if you are not able to reach myself or Vanessa. And then we have an upcoming RFP training listed uh, for October 10th from 1 to 3 p.m. So please keep that in mind if you are selected. And with that, we want to thank you for taking the time again to review this process with us and for your consideration in applying to become a community reviewer. It is very important work and we appreciate you and your commitment to this work. Thank you and have a great rest of your day.